What's up brand builders, Stephen Hurahan here at brandmasteracademy.com and in this video you're going to learn what a brand voice is and how to create a unique tone. So you can create a nuanced style of communication for your branding and marketing that'll make your brand sound and feel like a real live person. Now, if you're new to the channel and you want to build brands that go beyond the visuals using strategy, psychology, and creative thinking, then you're in the right place. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. If you want to fast track your results, make sure you grab the Pro Brand Strategy Blueprint. It's a free download and the link is in the description. Now, there are concepts in business that you absolutely need to have any chance of survival. A market with a want or a need, a unique position, and an offer that they want. Now, although a unique brand voice doesn't sit on the top rung of brand must-haves, its absence or its presence can make the difference between your brand being remembered or forgotten. At the end of the day, branding is about being remembered, visually or verbally, and your tone of voice is the unique topping on your brand message and your presence that leaves a memorable flavor worth tasting. And in this video, you'll learn what a brand voice is, why it's important, and how to create a unique tone for your brand. So what exactly is a brand voice? Well, a brand voice is the way your brand speaks to your audience, and it's shaped by your brand's communication style and its personality. Your brand voice, also known as your brand's tone of voice, is crafted based on who your target audience is, and it's designed to make the brand feel familiar. And coupled with the brand's unique message, the brand voice brings a sense of tangibility and humanity to what can otherwise feel like corporate messaging. So why is a brand voice important? Well, business and branding is a dog eat dog world and only the most unique, the most consistent and the most relevant brands survive. And there are many boxes that need ticking before a business owner or a brand professional can begin to even think of the tone of voice of the brand. And these boxes that need to be ticked, they include the likes of a specified target market, a competitive awareness, a unique position in the market, a compelling offer, a message framework, and a tangible personality, to name a few. Now, without these fundamentals in place, an appealing brand voice simply won't have the environment that it needs to make any kind of impact. But if it does, a well-crafted brand voice can make the brand's message stick to your audience's mind, and it does create this sense of familiarity for your brand. Now, the reason this is important is that most of our buying decisions are made in our subconscious by our reptilian cortex, which is the oldest and least evolved part of the brain that's kept the human species alive for millions of years. Now, there's an old expression that you might have heard before that we buy with emotion and we justify with logic. Now, although there is truth in that saying, it's not all about the emotion. Our subconscious decision-making follows its own logic and it includes many factors from emotion to experience to familiarity, and we're drawn in to familiarity because it represents safety. If you've ever been in a social situation before and you don't know anyone there and you suddenly hear this familiar voice or a familiar accent, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, creating your brand's tone of voice is not about cherry picking attributes that represent who the founder is. It's not about the founder. There's method to the madness and I'm gonna show you the processes that lay down this madness. Now, just before we jump into the processes, if you have any questions at all, drop a comment below. And of course, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that like and subscribe, and the notification bell will let you know when I release new videos just like this. Step one, define your target market. Now, defining your target market is one of the most fundamental steps in building a brand because quite simply, every branding decision that is made is made with the aim of appealing to who that audience is. If you want to make a success of your brand, then understanding as much as you can about your audience and what appeals to them is absolutely critical. Now, the more specified you get with this, the more detail you have to shape your brand's tone of voice. So don't just stop with the overall market. Slice it and dice it and define the segments that you want to target most. Step number two, uncover their personality. Now, as I've mentioned already, every person is different and across any brand and their offerings you'll find all different types of people who have different passions, different hobbies, different values and personalities as well. Audience research is about identifying commonalities, which then become the tools 
for you to first resonate and then influence your audience. Now, when you define the personality characteristics that cross over your target market, you begin to see the hooks that your brand can use to connect with who they are. Step number three, identify attributes they seek. Now, although your target market might like to unwind with a drink on the weekend or have fun with their family and friends, that doesn't mean that you can use that commonality to resonate with them. When you connect a brand with a group of people, context is absolutely critical. Insights are great, but if your brand offers legal advice, then a fun-loving tone of voice is not going to help your cause. The space you're playing in and the desired outcome of your audience are critical considerations when determining the brand voice that's going to appeal to them. So step into the shoes of your audience, feel their frustrations or feel their desires and find the right tone that they seek from a helping hand. Step number four, create a brand persona. Now at the most basic level, branding is the discipline of making a business the most appealing choice to a group of people. Now, although there are many that associate branding with visuals, there are far many more ways to connect a business than just visually. To become an effective brand strategist, you need to approach the development of your brand as if it were a living, breathing person. To drive this point home, if you met a person on the street who was dressed in a way or a style that aligned with the style that you appreciate or that you're attracted to, then you're far more likely to be drawn in to that person than other people, right? But just because they look like you, it doesn't mean that you're going to get along with them. It's not until you actually have a conversation and spend a bit of time with them, do you actually get a feel for whether or not they're your type of person. A brand persona helps to bring your brand to life beyond just the visuals and brands that are built with this human consideration, they feel more tangible and they have more points of interest for their audience to actually resonate with. And step number five, craft your tone of voice. Now, once you know exactly who you're targeting, what they're looking for, and how your brand will show up to the market, you have everything you need to develop your brand's tone of voice. The attributes that you define in the personality of your brand persona give you that direction for the tone of voice that'll help you to communicate that personality. Will your tone of voice be playful or serious? Will it be progressive or traditional? Will it be aggressive or laid back? The personality of your brand wraps your message up in a way that invites your audience in, while the tone of voice is the mood that you set to deliver your message. So reflect on who your audience is, the traits they share, the characteristics they seek, and how you want to show up to them, and then define a tone that will set the mood for how your message is delivered. Now, as I mentioned in the opening, the importance of the brand voice only really comes into light once you have some important boxes ticked as both a business and a brand. But don't let that undermine the importance of the brand voice. Businesses and brands that overlook the fundamentals simply aren't in the game to begin with. For businesses that do end up at the table competing for customers, then often it's the slight nuances in how messages are delivered that makes the difference between one buying decision and another. Your brand voice is one of those slight nuances. Use it strategically and it can make the difference between a brand of choice or a brand forgotten. Now, if you want to see some of the best examples from some of the most unique brands who are killing it with their brand voice, then my next video will help you out. Until next time, brand like a master, and I'll see you in the next video.